coming to you from the airport in Barcelona, Spain. Okay, this is a big one for us. Hola. Hola, yeah. We're coming out here for a friend's wedding. We're actually going from this airport to Malaga and we're gonna be in Malaga for like four or five days. So I can't wait to show you guys everything. I'm excited to eat. <laughs> okay, let's go. Our friends got married at a beautiful property called Finca Monasterio, just outside the town of Soto Grande in the south of Spain. It was a picture perfect ceremony, a beautiful wedding, and an absolutely incredible property. We feel so blessed to be invited to their wedding and share this special moment with us. So congratulations to Phil and Alex, and thank you so much for including us. Okay, we are driving back from our friend's wedding back to the town of Malaga right now, and we kind of just got off the main freeway and found this random beach. We don't really know where we are, but it's really beautiful and it's so quiet and peaceful. So we're gonna walk around here and see what we can see. We don't have to turn the car back in until um, three o'clock. So we're just gonna kind of explore and see what's going on out here, but I can't get over how peaceful it is. The ocean is cold. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to be warm. It is cold water. All right, we just checked into our hotel in Malaga. We're downtown at the hotel boutique Teatro Romano. Tiny little room, but it's super clean, super cute. And you have the hustle and the bustle of the city right down here. Okay, first stop we're eating in Malaga is El Pimpi. This place is supposed to be very iconic. It's right outside our hotel. That is our hotel right there. And it's pretty packed and busy, and it's a great little area to sit outside and just kind of chill. I cannot get over how close the Al Kazaba is to this rooftop bar. This is such a great spot. We finally got our ice cream after watching everybody walk by it all day long. Mm. Strawberry cheesecake. Oh my gosh, so good. Oh my gosh, so good. Okay, good morning. It's about almost 9 a.m. and uh, we're up kind of early today because this is our one and only full day in Malaga. We got in yesterday about three o'clock and then tomorrow to fly back to Barcelona. So today is our full, full day here in the city and we got some good walking around in yesterday and got like kind of a good lay of the land of the area around our hotel and saw some stuff that we wanted to do today. So first things first is we're gonna go tour the Alcazaba, which is right across the street from our hotel. It opens at nine, so we're gonna pay the 350 euro to actually take the tour. And then we have a food tour booked of the market at 11, and then we'll go from there. So let's get started. This is the scale model of Alcazaba. Oh God, this is huge. I didn't realize it was this huge. It's kind of hard to see in here, but. All right, we are officially inside the fortress walls. We've been in here for like 10 minutes and I am very in awe of this place already. Gardens are incredible. You can smell the flowers. 
and a pro tip I have so far is get here at nine in the morning when the place opens because I literally feel like we have the whole castle to ourselves. <laughs> Pictures do not do this place justice, so I really hope video is. I feel like everywhere you turn the corner, it's more and more beautiful. Good morning from Malaga. Oh my God, getting up early is the ticket. <gasps> Look how beautiful. The ceiling is so pretty. Alcazaba is really breathtaking and totally worth it. If you can get up early and get here by 9 a.m. and you're not too jet lagged or something, that is the way to go because I feel like we've explored every single place by ourselves and it is incredible. And the audio guide is free. You just scan the QR code with your phone and then you can listen to um, what you're actually looking at. So come check this out if you're in Malaga. All right, we're about to start our food tour of the markets and check out all the different stalls. We're waiting on our guide for the day to show up. Not wait. Uh, was uh, opened in 1879 and was built on the remains of an older Arabian building that was an Arabian shipyard in the Middle Age time. You know, this region was Arabia for a period of time, for seven centuries. And Malaga was part of the last Arabian kingdom in the end of Spain that was the Granada's kingdom. Our guide, Felipe from Spain Food Sherpas, was exceptionally kind and knowledgeable. Touring the marketplace and sampling a variety of exciting foods was both helpful and fun, and he had a lot of knowledge about the history of the town as well. We booked this three hour tour through Viator, and I highly recommend it. Make sure you bring your appetite as you will be eating a lot. So here in the fish market, you will see um, Malaga hearts, right? It's a like fig with flour and fried almond inside. Our fortified wines are made from a variety of different wine options. So it can be red, white, or rosé. You have different types. It can be dry or sweet. Malaga vermouth is mainly sweet type because they combine the wine, the, the vermouth, with some of the sweet wines from Malaga. But this one is made from dry Pedro Jimenez wine combined with liquid. recommend this food tour from Spanish Food Sherpas. We booked it on Viator. I am stuffed to the max. <laughs> High five. I am in awe of this church.
The Malga Cathedral is incredibly impressive and well worth the entry fee. The admission includes an audio guide available in seven languages. One of the guidelines is to remain as quiet as possible, making the interior almost completely silent. So keep this in mind if you have small children with you. We just did the Cathedral de Malaga. Oh my God, 10 euros to get in to walk around. I, I was very impressed. The stained glass, I think, was my favorite, but it's huge inside. So. No explanation on how massive. Massive. The inside is. Yeah, it's really impressive. So the definitely. Of art. Worth it. The amount of art inside is just yeah. crazy. Yeah, really beautiful. Okay, we just got up from a siesta and we're down here at the marina. I think we're going to book a boat tour on one of these catamarans type of uh, ships and take a little bay cruise. I think there's one going out in about less than an hour, so let's check it out. All right, we're on the catamaran to do a tour of the coastline. Let's go. Golden Odyssey yacht. I'll have to Google that and see who owns it. Very amazing. What do you think? Wow, look at that thing. Oh my god. So far, yeah. good yacht spotting on this catamaran tour. And some military ships. Some industry over here. Baby is rocking. <laughs> Good morning from our very last day in Malaga. We're flying back to Barcelona today um, in the afternoon, so we have a few hours to just kind of walk around. We cut the night short last night. We thought we were gonna go out and watch a soccer game, but once we got back to the hotel after the catamaran, we were like, too tired. So we went to bed early. Oh well, sometimes you need to rest. Um, but anyways, we'll be heading back to Barcelona. We might go check out Sagrada Familia, so stay tuned for that if we do. And yeah, anyways, Malaga's been great. I've loved it. It's a beautiful city. Yeah. Very walkable. Way less crowded probably Perfect than Barcelona. Weather. Yeah. And look at the architecture. Everything about it. Ooh, restaurants, buildings. I mean, hello. Anyways, it's been great. We made it back to Sagrada Familia. How many years later? Five? No, 2017 to, to now. How many years is that? Seven years later, we make it back to the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. I didn't think back in 2017 we'd win. I didn't know when we'd ever be back, you know? But here we are. Definitely one of those places where like the longer you look at it, the more details you see. Like a lot of little details.
the west coast we only ever see the sun set over the ocean when we drove up i thought that was the sun but obviously we're on the opposite side of the world that's the moon baby in my life that I've actually been able to see the moon moving like I can see the path of the moon I'm just in shock right now like, this is like the most impressive thing to me ever all right we gotta hit up one last Barcelona icon for a nightcap for a cocktail with W on the beach let's go Epic mint cocktail. Oh, it's so good. Cucumbery and minty. Mmm. Cheers. Leaving Barcelona today. Uh, back to reality. Back to San Francisco. We have about an 11 hour flight to look forward to. Um, we have a little bit of time before we need to catch the airport shuttle to the airport. So we're just kind of soaking it in and I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling ready to get back home, to get back to the kids. And uh, this trip was only a week. It, it's been a whirlwind. We got here last Saturday and today is Saturday. We're headed back. So um, it's been awesome. Till next time, Spain. Mwah.